You want to help me take apart an Olivetti Laterra 32? Like completely take it apart? Well, that's what we're going to do today. So this might be a long video. I'm just going to get right to it since we know what we're doing. Uh, first thing I encountered, I already kind of did some movie magic. I loosened some of these things up just for the sake of video. But it was basically what I do every Laterra 32 I get that's frozen solid uh, to get the platen off. These knobs sometimes are frozen on here solid. The, the left knob specifically is a unscrew. So what I'll do is I'll set it to zero. That, that gives you separation from the, the clicks, the gear inside there. And then um, I'm gonna use some adjustable pliers and a strap wrench because to try to hold these knobs with your fingertips and give it the turning force that it needs to pop off this knob, break it free, uh, it just, it's not going to happen. I'm not a strong guy, but I'm not a weak guy, but there's just no purchase to hold on to those. So what I end up doing is flipping the machine around this direction. Can you see it a little bit better there? Um, I'll, I'll put the strap wrench on the, this knob. It's set in there with screws, set screws. And then I'll take the adjustable pliers and take them as big as possible. And these are like uh, jar openers I don't know, material, like trivet material, rubberized, so you put pots on the countertop. Um, and I'll use that to kind of protect the jaws from this knob, or vice versa, protect the knob from the jaws. And I'll just squeeze this guy on there, and then I'll hold the strap wrench, and then I'll loosen it like that. And then once that happens, it's pretty easy. I have to do this to almost every every litter I get. They're just something about the, the way they're tightened on here. And there's really only four or five screws on the whole machine. So you can just take this out completely. We'll get to the disassembly. Uh, Sarah from Just My Type posted a, a video on the dollar store and things that she likes to use. And I like to use these containers. They're divided containers and I can put everything in there and label them feet body ribbon cover and that way I have a record of these are machines that I'm working on currently and you can see I have tape on the the lid of one of these and they're labeled out most of the machines I kind of know already like where the screws go but if you're working on, on a machine that you haven't worked on before it's definitely a good idea to keep to keep a container like this so we're going to get out our trusty screwdriver and take apart our Latera 32. Take off the specialized ribbons. Make sure, I'm just checking back to make sure I'm still recording. So we'll put the ribbon nuts. Oh gosh, look at that. That's, that's tight on there. Take this off and put them in the container. I have a terrible habit of losing parts because I'll do stuff like this and I'll set it on my desk and I'll have five typewriters I'm working on and uh, that's not great. Got to get in a better habit of putting things in better spots other than just scattered on my desk. So as for the left, the right knob, we'll get out some Allen keys and that's the one, one sixteenth fits well inside these right knobs. There's two Allen set, scre set screws, and I really dislike Allen keys for set screws, almost as much as the Royal flatheads that get sheared off s easily. These, if you don't have the right Allen key, you're, you're gonna have some problems. So that's done for the Allen work for right now. We'll take off this right cover, which is two screws. So we'll pull these screws out and that will give us access to this side panel. And this I believe is a four millimeter. I have these eBay brand micro wrenches. They come in all sorts of tiny metric millimeter sizes. I think this is a four, it might be a 4.5, we'll see. Mm, it's probably a 4.5. Yeah, it's a 4.5. So 
so we'll find a 4.5. I know we got one in here somewhere. I wish I had a, a real shock that I can magnetically scatter. I'll show you guys my magnetic strip. All I have is this one magnetic work strip, and I keep all my, my tools handy to my left here. So I keep all my most used screwdrivers up here, and that way I can just grab them and, and put them back that direction. Back to the back to the task. Back to the task of taking apart an antenna. So now that we figured out that this little screw right here, here I'll show you up close. We'll go up close for this one. This is what holds in the right platen rod. The rod doesn't come out, it stays in, so we're just gonna loosen up that nut, and then we'll, we'll go from there. So, loosen, loosen, loosen. Was it a five? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm slipping today. I work on too many typewriters. Let's see, is it a five? It's a five. So you just have to loosen up this, this nut and then this little trap door flips open. So once you loosen up that nut, you can flip this trap door back. I like to flip the paper release forward and then get this out of the way. And then you can see, now this is free. You can do it with two fingers, pull out the whole platen. And the good thing about the Blateras is that the platens are usually pretty good. They, they use some good rubber in there. Italian machines. So, on to the next step. Um, yeah, we could take off this side cover, but we don't really need to right now. You have this carriage lock system, and that's the only thing that's tricky about pulling the body the bodywork off. So, I'm going to get to getting off the four mounting screws. There's one on each corner, uh, and that's what that's the only thing that holds the body on. So. We'll proceed with that. Zoop. Screwdriver. <coughs> sprocket. That was me. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to work sprocket up. Uh, most of the times, these uh, rubber. <coughs> Stop, Sprocket Boy. That was me. I was humming a tune. Yeah, and the kitty's helping. So, most of the time with these Lateras, the, these rubber mounts, these rubber bushings are completely shot and you'll get some body movement and that will interfere with the carriage movement so it's very helpful to pull these off and and switch out these rubber bushings and they're just hardware store rubber you can you can go and go to your local hardware store and find them so what you want to do now is move the margin your left margin all the way over to the side because the body is essentially off and you're just going to un you're just going to tilt the whole body to the right like i just did I'm gonna catch it on myself and then it'll just slide out underneath the carriage that way and then the installation is uh, part, the opposite of the removal and you'll have to do it in that direction because that uh, carriage lock on that one side these olivetti latera have notorious bell issues they're always they're always gummed up in here and you can see this one's no exception it doesn't ding it's it's sluggish Look at it. you move it and then it has like a secondary movement so that'll get cleaned up when this thing is fully fully disassembled then the bottom there's a bottom plate you can leave that on it helps to to keep the works out because once you take this bottom plate off uh, all the the internals are exposed to whatever work surface you're on like the draw band can will actually rub on the table and that's not good but for this bottom part panel you can just pop it off i pre-lubed it with some wd-40 to to help because sometimes this is a, a pain to get off to it might be right now too you got to find a leverage point and a lot of times these corners will bend as you're prying up this side you just got to be slow and careful with it. And it's soft metal. You can bend it back. But we'll pop this side off. And that's, that's how you take the bottom off of the Terra 32. 
there's a little ridge here that slots into the front and then it pops into the back with these rubber bushings and these are also hardware store rubber bushings you can you can pick up so that's about it for a complete teardown of the Latera machines super simple typewriters to work on uh, very easy to, to clean up and get working again and man these things are, they type they, they, they're better than the Latera 32s or I mean 22s excuse me they they're a little bit taller but the action on them feels great they're, they're not stiff they're light and loose you want me to take this off for you guys too i mean i guess we can do that which kind are we doing with here there's a couple of different ways to go about taking off this rear plate depending on which model you're working with there is a screw sometimes or there is just little pins on the side let's see here we'll, we'll get in for a close-up view uh, let's see on the side here I'm holding the machine you see where my fingers kind of poking in you can see the green right there on that little post now you're just gonna have to pry those up and over the post slightly let's see if this will clear and then there's one on the other side <coughs> that let's see if it's connected somewhere else which it probably is i always forget i work on so many lateras and there's so many different oh no there it, it just pops right out did you guys see that anyway there is a spring underneath here can you see where my finger's pointing a spring and that's connected to the paper table so i'll get my trusty spring hook out focus you guys know what a spring hook is by now spring hook and then i'll just grab the end of the spring and do that and then pull out the the paper table and if you're going to paint repaint this this scale doesn't come off you just tape that off but on the back there's these two points right here and i'll take a, a phillips screwdriver and i'll just lightly push on these like so and then the logos pop right out and then it's ready for paint and you put the logos in your little container you tape off the you don't want to take off this it's riveted in you're gonna have to tape off tapey tapey so that's it guys <coughs> that is a complete tear down of a Latera 32, 10 minutes, you know, you can, you can do it in five minutes if you're not talking. Very easy to, very, but look at how filthy this is. This is a buddy, buddy's machine he sent me. He's gonna get it done in uh, liquid black, liquid death color. I'm gonna hook him up with a color and a service. So this one will get done soon. Fix that bell, make sure it's, cleared up so anyway guys that is a full service teardown of a Latera 32 and I'll go ahead and I'll take this outside um, I'll soak it with chemical cleaners and then I will spray it off and then I will air dry it with the air dryer the hair dryer I should say so it gets done quickly and there's some there's your escapement this rod right here you can get some lube on it I try to lube all these friction points with a little drop of lube there's all these friction points there but it's full of dust once you get these things cleaned they're they're great typewriters guys i i have a bunch of 32s and 22s and 32 is my pick it just has a better feel times better people like the 32s or the 22s though so we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up guys if you have any questions put them down in the comments and i will get back to you about the Terra issues. I try not to pull the carriages off because I don't like spending that amount of time on a machine if I don't have to. A lot of the stuff can be cleaned up with the carriage in place. You can just move things over side to side. As long as things aren't broken, you don't have to pull the carriage off. There's a lot of tab issues on these machines. 
There's a lot of belt issues. There's a lot of line lock issues because a lot of dirt gets stuck in here. Look at the line lock. It doesn't, it barely pops back. So that'll need to be cleaned and lubed. Basic typewriter stuff. The uh, shift alignment adjustment is on these posts and that's fairly straightforward too. It's from the bottom of the machine. They don't take much adjustment. Uh, just to, to make sure the tab system is working, the bell and the line lock's working and uh, it'll type for you but 15 minutes later we're gonna do it guys talk to you later